सो टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एच टी एम एल स्टाइल्स सो इन डिटेल वी विल डिस्कसिंग वेल गोइंग थ्रू योर सी एस एस सो रेट नाउ लेट हैव जस्ट अ ब्रीफ अबाउट ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो स्टाइल इट इज बेसिकली यूज इट इज एन एट्रीब्यूट ओके दिस इज अ एट्रीब्यूट it is basically used for setting the style of an html element why it is used for setting the style of an html element okay uh, the syntax is write the tag name then your style attribute then the property value colon and semicolon and end the tag okay this is actually a css property already i have told that css will be discussing later similarly this is a css value okay css stands for cascading style sheets now let's just discuss some examples basic examples suppose i want to go for your background color okay so background color of the uh, screen i want to set clear okay. so i can write i'm only writing that portion of html where uh, this background color setting i'll be doing so only that portion i'm writing i'm not writing the total file so we need to write body style set the background color so i'll be writing background color then suppose i want it to be blue so this is how we will write so after that suppose i'm giving a heading suppose this is introduction and again i'm giving another heading H four. Okay, and then I am finishing the body tag. So now, what already I have told that whatever we write within the body tag, that is what will be displayed on the browser. So these two things will be getting displayed. so the background of the total web page will be blue blue color okay so here you can see that we have used the style tag we want to set the background color and this is the value which we are what we are writing similarly suppose i want to go for your uh, text color let me just go to the next page so now when we go want to go for the um, text color okay text color i want to set so text color css color property is used this property we use it defines the text color so what it does it defines the text color of an html element example if i am writing heading 1 so it is h1 so h1 already it is having a default style of its own which is predefined we can always change it 
as already we have discussed in our previous slides so h1 i am setting the color as blue and here suppose i am writing heading 1 okay similarly suppose i am writing a paragraph i want to set the style of the paragraph i can always set it by using the color property suppose we set it to be red there is nothing it's mandatory that um, that the color of the heading and paragraph should be different you can take even take the same color also that's not a problem that totally depends on the requirement okay so here what we are doing we are setting the color of a paragraph and a heading now talking about the setting of fonts so the font family this property is used what it does it defines the font to be used for an html element now now let's again take an example example is suppose i am again taking an heading only so the main heading i want to set its size so i will be writing font family so i want it to be um, times new roman so here we will be mentioning the font name then i will be writing my heading here And then i will be closing my heading h1 i'm closing it similarly suppose i want paragraph okay so style will mention font family suppose whatever style you want you can mention here in paragraph and then i am ending the paragraph okay so font size i am setting by using this property now coming to your text size so for text size we have <coughs> so here the font style i am setting <coughs> here we will be setting uh, we use this font size this property we use to define the text size of an html element example i'm just telling about suppose a paragraph i can write it as style so this property will be mentioning that is your font size so font size i can write suppose i want it to be uh, 150% with this column Similarly, next another property is your uh, text alignment. For that, we have our text align. So this property defines 
this defines the horizontal text alignment for your HTML element. Okay. Example is if I am writing paragraph, I am writing a paragraph and I can write style. Text align center. So here the text will be aligned to the center. In Microsoft in Word, we when we are writing the text, we can align it to right, left, center. Similarly, here also we can write, do the same thing. We and we can write right, left, center. So suppose here I am, here I am mentioning center. So. Suppose I the centered content just for your understanding writing this. Okay. So these are different HTML styles, some properties which we discussed here, which can be used. Okay. So we discussed background color, that's a property which is used for the background color, then color for text colors font family for text fonts, font size for text sizes, text align for your text alignment. Okay. Now, next, let's discuss something about our HTML formatting. So formatting here means what? We have bold, italic, okay. Then we have subscript, many types are there. <coughs> so whenever we are writing text, so with a text, what we can do is I I can set the text alignment, I can set the text color, text background, okay, and text formatting itself also so our HTML it uses special elements for defining the text with a special meaning for example uh, somewhere in a paragraph we can see that some letters are bold so why those are bold because those words are uh, when we are uh, making it bold means we are giving emphasis on the bold words okay it means those words are uh, very much important similarly many other uh, tags are used for example b is used for bold i for your Italic. Then um, we use strong. That is used for our important text. Then we have em. That is emphasize text. Then we have mark. That is for your marked text. Then for small text, we use the tag small. Then we use del. That is for deleted text. We have many. Like as per our requirements, we use these. Then we have a sub that is for your 
subscript text we have sup that is for your superscript subscript and superscript we know that okay so now this will uh, be this gives me a bold text okay but this element defines bold text without any extra importance okay but strong this element it defines strong text with added semantic strong importance so that thing is added here otherwise when you see the output this is bold and this is also bold okay now coming to our i and em so i is it defines elements in italics without any extra importance but in case of em that is emphasized text here also added semantic importance is there okay so when you go to when you are on a browser you are going through it so they display a word strong that is strong then strong uh, strong is displayed as bold so the output for both of these will be same you cannot differentiate similarly em and i for these two also the outputs are same okay but there is a difference in the meaning of these tags okay so what's the difference this b and i bold and italic so the b and i they define bold and italic text but strong and em it means that the text is important for these two so next small it defines elements this element it defines smaller text then mark this element defines marked or highlighted text del this del element defines the deleted or removed text similarly ins it defines the inserted or added text this defines the subscripted text and this defines the superscripted text okay so accordingly you can use your uh, tags to have the effect on a text in your output on the browser now next coming to html quotations and uh, citation elements so different tag is used for quotations so i'm using a paper weight for sorry uh okay. quotations and citations so small q this defines a short quotation so an element for which q has been used what happens browser usually inserts quotation marks around that element okay similarly next we have our block quote so this is this element also defines a section that is quoted for another source so these elements what ha happens in the in the output the browsers they usually indent the elements these elements are indented 
now um, another we have over this is for your abbreviations so it defines an abbreviation or an acronym okay so marking abbreviation can give useful useful information to browsers and to search engines similarly we have address this is for contact information it defines so this tag it defines the contact information maybe of a author owner for a document or an article so usually this is displayed in italics and most browsers they add a line break before and after this element the one is site for this is used for work title so this tag it defines the title of a work okay so browsers they usually display the elements in italics similarly we have B D O. This is for bi-directional override. Okay. This is used to override the current text direction to override the current. text direction okay so usually what happens our text is written from left to right so using this we can write the sentence from right to left so comments how to use comment tags already we have discussed i omitted a m here already already we have discussed it we can add comments to our html source by using a syntax like this whatever you want to write you can write a statement here and this goes like this okay so you can see that there is an exclamatory mark in the opening tag but not in the closing tag okay so always remember that comments are not displayed by the browser they can help document your html source code for easy understanding and readability of the source code we use this thing okay so with comments you can place notifications and reminders in your html even uh, while debugging the html these tags are very much useful so we usually while writing a program what we do for a bunch of code we just before that we in a comment statement we mention that what is the uh, need of that bunch of code or the function of that bunch of code suppose we have written a function to add so before defining the function in a comment statement we write a line that uh, function to add two numbers so why it is written for better readability suppose i have written the code but later after suppose uh, at a later point of time maybe 2 3 months 6 months or any time anyone else is working on that website so he or she will be going through the codes so if the comments are mentioned in between wherever necessary he will be having 
a clear understanding of the html source code so that is why it is used discuss about html colors so these are specified using predefined color names okay rgb your hex these values are mentioned so we have different colors like violet gray steel blue uh, then medium sea green light gray orange green many types of colors are there we know many names so we can directly write the color names whenever it is required so color names these colors are used as we have seen in previous examples we can use to set the color of the text we can use it to set the background color also okay suppose you want to set a border color so border color also can be set so text color and background color for that examples we have already gone through so let's go for an example for you border color okay so border color means suppose i have written here welcome a border will be there and this border will be a colorful border so for that what we do suppose h1 is there i will make use of the property i'll be making the use of style attribute property is border and this will be mentioned the border width and then its colors suppose solid tomato whatever heading you want to write and then close the run so whatever heading we write so as the output of this what will happen suppose here i have written heading na so suppose heading is here it will be having a border this border will be width we have mentioned 2 pixel and this color will be solid tomato color okay for we can mention like this like here i have written solid tomato the color name itself i can also use rgb color values we know that values uh, the maximum 255 for rgb okay i can mention that color i can use some hexadecimal form like ff6404 this is a color code this also we can use so rgb and rgb we know that red green blue these are three colors so three colors variants i will have to use so as to get the perfect color okay for example if i um, i i want rgb here i can write rgb then suppose uh, 79 and then 60 okay so this stands for red green and blue so blue portion will be there will be 60% of blue 79% of uh, green and 250 250 stands for your red so this color will be mostly red i think so another way so i will be mentioning a like 100% then 64% so this is using your hs so this is this this way also we can use it hs1 okay so instead of writing this solid tomato 
I can also write it like this, like this, or like this. It totally depends on you. Okay. So as per the requirement, we use it. Okay. Now coming to HTML links, we just had a brief discussion about this. So we will be having a more discussion in our next class about the HTML links. So thank you for today.